We all know that, that all the chapters of Bhagavad Gita are called yogas. They are different aspect of yogas. So, uh, for example, first chapter is known as Arjun Vishada Yoga, second chapter is known as Sankhya Yoga, fifteenth chapter is known as Purushottam Yoga. So, this whole, so you, uh, Bhagavad Gita is also considered a yogic text and in this yogic text, in the sixteenth chapter, uh, positivity, human potential is elaborated in the most extensive ways. These are called Daivi Sampada and Asuri Sampada. Daivi is divine, Asuri meaning demonic. Sampada meaning possessions or property. These are, not, these are also qualities, but these are something which can be changed as well. So, Daivi Sampada and Asuri Sampada, these are the two straight classification given in the 16th chapter, which is perhaps the most detailed exposition of human potentiality and positivity. These shlokas are Abhayam Sattva Sanshuddhi, Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti, Danam Damascha Yagyascha Swadhyayastapa Arjavam. Ahinsa Satyama Krodhas Tyaga Shanti Rapaishunam Daya Bhute Shulolutvam Mardavam Hir Chapalam Teja Chama Dhriti Socham Droho Nati Manita Bhavanti Sampadam Daivi Mabhijatasya Bharata. These are 26 Daivi Sampada or divine qualities. These are most pious qualities. These are something to be looked up to, these are something we need to develop in ourselves. These are the also reflection of the human potential and human possibilities. These are also the ways of realizing ultimate human possibility. So, these are the, the goals as well as the path to pursue the human excellence according to the yogic tradition. And this excellence is ultimately reflected in the liberation, but it is also reflected in the very refined sense of calm and also well developed system for earth, material possessions and the sensuous pleasure to enjoy these two for the long duration, which is not in contradiction or in disharmony with the world. For that also these qualities are required. We are going to have a separate session on the Daivi Sampada because they are not uh, eclectic features or eclectic qualities. These are reflection of the five core qualities which are explained at different places in the yogic tradition. Nirmana moha, jita sangha dosha, radhatmanitya, vinivratya kama, dvandar vimukta, sukhadukya sangha, kachanta moodha padmam dayam tat. So, these 26 potentialities can be clubbed into those 5 things and those 5 things are reflection of the uh, yogic worldview and the ideals of life. So, we are going to have a more detailed uh, conversation on these uh, Daivi Sampada, these qualities, but uh, for to understand it briefly, but to have some idea, uh, we can explain few of these in this session. So, the first quality, the first human potential, the positive human potential is Abhayam, fearlessness. Swami Vivekananda in his lectures explained this at many places. He says that the theme of Vedic literature, the call of Vedic rishis is being Abhiha, be fearless. Why fearless and for what fearless? For what fearless? We have to be fearless to follow our dharma. If we look at the first and last word of Bhagavad Gita, these are dharma and mama. So, this text is about discovering our dharma. We 
already have seen the definition of dharma and dharma that is not related to religion, it is not at all religion. Dharma is identifying that action, those thoughts, those words which cause abhyudaya means general development, socio-economic development in the uh, management terms and nishtriyas spiritual development. So, that which result into both that is dharma that is expressed according to our aptitude and station of life. So, being fearless in following our dharma, without being fearless, we cannot follow our dharma. So, that is why the first quality identified in the uh, list of the Daivi Sampada is Abhayam. Second is Sattva Sanshuddhi. Sattva Sanshuddhi, Sattva we will explain it in the later uh, sessions in more detail. Sattva is the righteousness, sar, Satya is the illumination, Satya is the harmonious aspect of life. Sattva has to take the help of Raja and Tama to perform its work. Raja is related to excitement, enjoyment, sensuous enjoyment and uh, moving from one aspect to another aspect of life. Tam is related to inertia. So, activity and inertia has to be balanced. So, that faculty through which that balance is attained in life is called sattva. So, having sattva that means right balance of activity and inertia, san shuddhi. Sanshuddhi is meaning when we have this balance of activity in inertia, we attain and that is the point of attaining purity. So, consistently remain in purity that is called Sattva Sanshuddhi and we should not forget the context of all these qualities. Context of all these qualities is performing dharma, attaining moksha, also enjoying earth and calm according to our swadharma. So, Sattva Sanshuddhi is the second quality. Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti established in knowledge. Which knowledge? Estab so, according to the uh, yogic tradition, ultimately knowledge is experience and recognition of oneness with the whole existence. So, our sense of being separated is result of ignorance and going away of that ignorance is important, that is the state of Jnana. So, attaining that Jnana through yoga, the process through which that Jnana is attained is yoga. So, Jnana is the outcome, yoga is the process, Vyavasthiti meaning maintenance. So, attaining that Jnana which is about the recognition of realization that whole existence is one or non-dual, pursuing the process to attain that knowledge and being and remaining established in that. We all get glimpse of that oneness many time in many occasions of life. But how to retain that, how to maintain that knowledge, how to maintain that experience, how to day to how to behave in a day to day manner as if we are connecting to everything else, that is jnana yoga vyavasthiti. Danam damascha yagyascha. Danam meaning charity, danam meaning giving away, willingly giving away, willingly sharing not enjoying whatever you have individually, not enjoying only for the self aggrandization or self satisfaction, but enjoying by after giving away, after sharing that is dana. Dhamma that is control of the senses. In order to practice all these potentialities, 
there is something which comes on our way, which are the obstacles. That obstacle are about our tendency or tendency of the man to enjoy the sensuous pleasure. Sensuous pleasure is not unacceptable, it is acceptable in the form of calm, but uncontrolled enjoyment can create problem in the world and can create problem for our individual health. So, having that sense of self control that is Dhamma. Yajna is performance of sacrifice, doing something in a selfless manner, all that which is done for others in the selfless manner is qualified to be yajna. So, these are some of the examples, we just look at Swadhyaya in the Yoga Sutra. So, you can see that in the Yoga Sutra and uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita, the, there is some overlap in the human potentiality in the form of Swadhyaya or in the form of Satyam. So, these qualities are the positive human potentialities accepted in the yogic tradition. We are going to have more detailed discussion on those in the later sessions.